Hi, everyone. I'm Bob Kessling of the Ball Network, and welcome to this edition of Vintage Orange Tennessee Football Classics. 1998 was a classic year for Tennessee. The Volunteers finished the regular season undefeated, winning the SEC championship, and went on to play Florida State for the national crown in the Fiesta Bowl. There were those magic moments during the regular season, the heart-pounding victory against Syracuse, the close encounter with the Arkansas Razorbacks, the victory against Florida in dramatic fashion in overtime at Neyland Stadium, and of course, the big win against Alabama. It was all capped off now for a run at the national championship against Florida State in the Fiesta Bowl. Here's a look back at the Vol Network's presentation of Destiny. All fans, Seminole fans everywhere, listening throughout the world, know the time is here. A once-in-a-lifetime moment to play as Florida State comes onto the field. Their fireworks, and look at the cameras flashing all over this stadium to play for the national championship. Tennessee is 12-0, the best record ever. And now, though the 1998 season is not forgotten, nor will it ever be, it's a very, very special time as across the way, the volunteers come racing onto the field. What time is it? You know, as Tennessee comes barreling out onto the green sward of the Fiesta Bowl in Tempe, Arizona, it's football time in Tennessee. Tennessee will start against the vaunted Florida State defense at their own 20-yard line, and their start would not be spectacular. Sean Bryson rushed for a yard, T. Martin rushed for a yard, and Martin's first pass intended for Cedric Wilson would fall incomplete. Three plays, two yards, time for a punt. Snap, punt, left Boom. gets it away, and he is decked after he makes the punt and a penalty marker flies. This will be the punt taking up field with the basketball, return, uh, with the football returning to the 45, to the 50, down to the 45, down to the 40, down to the 35. This will be Durden, who is knocked out of bounds as he gets inside Tennessee's 30-yard line. As uh, It was Bernard Jackson who is there to make the tackle. Personal foul. Personal foul. But on the play, as we called it for you, there was a penalty marker down after Leverton got the putt away. And the penalty marker will indicate that it will be Florida State uh, Bill guilty of roughing the putter 15 yards the kicking game. Tennessee back to the line. It will be first down and 10 to go up at the 37-yard line. For Tennessee, Martin to throw. He has time. Pass up field is complete. Pull down at the Florida State 45-yard line. Down to the 40. And this is Peerless Price uh, forced out of bounds at the State 37-yard line by Derek Gibson. For Tennessee, it will be first down and 10 to go. Man in motion, Price. Martin this time gives the ball off. And Travis Henry gets a crack. He pops as he moves. And this will be Martin out of the shotgun. Back to throw. He'll run instead. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. He's at the 25. He's at the 20. And T. Martin is knocked out of bounds as he moves inside the 20-yard line to the Florida State 16 by Dexter Jackson. The Vols will come to the line with the straight eye formation and two receivers. Copeland is slotting into the boundary left. Now he becomes a man in motion to the right, reverses back left as the give goes to Henry, and Henry is stopped after maybe a gain of a yard on the play. So once again, Tennessee, this will be second down, a very short 10 yards to go as the balls go into the eye, and the give this time goes inside to Sean Bryson on that quick opening play that worked for 57 against Florida, 56 later in the season. This time it works for about two, maybe three yards. Tennessee in a scoreless game, third down. Here comes the all-out blitz, and the give goes to Travis Henry on trying to deceive, and there was no deception there. And into the game for the Volunteers will come Jeff Hall. On the year, he's 19 of 24. This will be from the... Well, I'll call it the 23-yard line. So it'll be a 33-yard attempt. Hall is in the air. End over ending its way downfield, and the kick is no good. No good. The quarterback, Marcus Outson, who came on for the injured uh, Chris Winky. Winky on the year, the number one quarterback most of the way, 2,487 yards. Florida State opens up in the shotgun. As the handoff goes inside to Miner, and Miner gets running room to the outside 20, to the 25, stutter stepping to the 30, is shoved out of bounds as he gets to the 34-yard line by Dion Grant. Man in motion is Warwick, and this is the pass out into the flat, pulled down by Warwick, breaks one tackle, breaks another, some uh, spinning up to the 35, to the 40. 
Tennessee started with uh, Gerald Griffin instead of Fred White. Now White has come into the football game as Tennessee will go with four down linemen and uh, shifting the defense as this will be outset again. Sets up a screen coming to the near side. That is a lateral. It's a free ball out here, and then it is tossed out of bounds. So there is a penalty because of that infraction, knocking the ball out of bounds. It is a sizable loss. The lateral went out of bounds, thrown behind Warwick at the 29-yard line of the Seminoles. A loss of down as well, so it's going to be second down and 39 to go with the play out of the shotgun, the lateral pass that just did not work at all. That's an understatement. Tennessee dancing on defense as Altson comes up, makes the pitch back to the tailback, getting to the corner. He's got running room, getting to the corner, turning up to the uh, 25, to the 30. This is Miner to the 35, to the 40. Now back to the shotgun, flanked by two running backs. This is Altson back to throw, setting up a screen. It is caught, and Tennessee plays it brilliantly as just as the catch was made, racing after the receiver, Eric Westmoreland, knocks down Travis Miner. There is no score in this game as Tennessee is set to rush as Parker stands back at his 30. The punt is away. A line drive punt backs Parker up to the 25-yard line. Tries to get to the corner, gets to the 30, to the 35, and moves up to the 39-yard line of Tennessee, where the Volunteers in a scoreless game will have it first down and 10 to go. Eight minutes, 30 seconds to go in the first quarter of the game. The balls line up in the I formation, and Florida State brings, in essence, seven men up on the line. Martin back to throw on first down, looking across the middle. Instead, throws it out here to the flat. Pull down here by the tailback who makes the catch at the 35-yard line. There is no score in this game. Tennessee into an eye formation. Flankers left and right. Six men up very tight. Tennessee runs a man in motion. Price, the give goes up the middle. This will be Travis Henry. He breaks one tackle. This is Travis Henry to the 40. Down to the 35, and he crashes forward to about the 33-yard line. Martin sizes up a five-man front. He adjusts the play. Man in motion as the give this time goes to Henry, and Henry comes banging through the right side of the line. Tennessee will come with a wing back to the right side. The pitch will go to Henry, cutting right, and then he is chased down, comes grinding forward for a yard or two. There's a scramble for a loose ball after the tackle is made, and as Florida State comes up, they say we have the football. The official has not yet indicated that that is true. As we wait, but it appears that that is exactly what has happened. The Seminoles pick up a first down on Marcus Outson's nine-yard run, then actually get into Tennessee territory on Lavernius Cole's 11-yard reverse. Facing third and two at the UT 43, Outson is decked short of the first down, forcing a Ronnie Cottrell punt. Tennessee takes over at their own 16-yard line, but the Vols aren't going anywhere. A three-play possession ends with Martin being sacked back at his 15. Florida State gets great field position after David Leverton's punt. Here, the Tennessee defense is called on to make a big stop, and they respond. No score. Tennessee defending with four down linemen. Florida State goes into the I formation. The tailback is Travis Miner. They run a man in motion from left to right. Long count by Outson. Pitches back to Miner coming to the near side, and Miner is decked. Dumped behind the line of scrimmage by a penetrating Eric Westmoreland. Florida State outside its 45. Here comes a big reverse long pass downfield is going to be incomplete. As it was a nice faking actually by Altson, although he read it pretty well. He faked the give first to Miner, then to uh, the reverse coming to Warwick on the near side. Fades back and tells us he had double coverage on Coles, who was racing downfield with Steve Johnson and for the Volunteers, Dion Grant. Really a chance for an interception, not a great one, but as it is, it becomes third down and 13. Back to the shotgun with two receivers to the left, one to the right. Tennessee bringing linebackers as Alton is back to throw. Pass downfield is incomplete. Intended on a, to uh, Coles with a reaching one-hand grab. And here to punt will be Cottrell. Deep for jealousy is Grant. Again, he tries to pooch it downfield. Grant moving up, asking for, but then lets oh. the ball bounce, and it takes a superlative Florida State uh, bounce down to about the 10-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 11, where it was down. He has had one turnover in the game. It was a fumble recovery, a fumble lost by Travis Henry, who is right now in there at tailback against the virtual eight-man front. 
Martin. Play action. Martin looking. Long pass downfield. Racing, racing, racing. Complete at the 50. 45, 40. 35, 30. 25, 20. 15, 10. Out of bound at the 12-yard line. Number 37. Peerless Price. I do not see a marker on the play. And Tennessee goes for the home run. First down pass. They were playing run all the way. Tennessee caught him. 76 yards. Martin to Peerless Price. Price got behind the receiver. The pass pretty much in stride, and Price pulled it down. Finally, Sean Key, who was one of the two defenders on Price, was able to get an angle on him and force him out of bounds. But Tennessee certainly has turned field position around, and the Volunteers in a nothing-nothing game will have it first down and 10 at the 12-yard line of Florida State. Into the eye formation, Travis Henry, the tailback. This is Henry popping up the middle, and he grinds a yard. It was not even, uh, was not easy even to get that. Two receivers to the left side. One of them, Copeland, is a man in motion back to the right, as this will be Martin keeping on the little option to the right, and he gets back to the line. No more than that. Tennessee third down long. Florida State, a lot of people at the line. Tennessee, two receivers left, one right. Martin handles the ball off inside to Sean Bryson, and he cracks through the right side of the line, pounding inside of the 10, as the ball is built, apparently, from my perspective, not wanting a turnover and going instead for three points. So here's Jeff Hall. In this game, he is 0 of 1 in field goal tries. Snapping Gregory holding is Scott. There is no score in this game. This will be from the 14. The field goal attempt is in the air. Did he make it? The penalty marker is down on the play. Roughing the kicker. The penalty is accepted. Field goal is taken off the board. It's an automatic first down for Tennessee. And now Tennessee has the ball first down and goal. Taking away a 3-0 lead. It's first down and goal. Nothing, nothing at the four-yard line. Henry is the tailback. Martin. Hands off Henry, throwing the pass into the end zone. Did he catch it? No, it was skipped to Finley's in the tight end. As Tennessee runs with Travis Henry rolling to the right side and the pass slightly underthrown, and it will become second down and goal. And so Finlayson, who made a dive, actually trapped it. And so Tennessee, which uh, went for the touch, the field goal and made it, now went for the touchdown. It was oh so very close. The end zones here. At one end, it's the checkerboard orange and white. That is the end to which Tennessee is moving. This is Martin. Back to throw. Looking into the end zone. Pass caught. Three, two, one. Give him six. Touchdown, Tennessee, to the senior and captain from Franklin NC, Sean Bryson. Tennessee leads seven to nothing. And we'll take a break for our stations by telling you with timeout, the Volunteers seven. The Seminoles nothing. With 1405 remaining in the first half, Tennessee has a 7-0 advantage on the favored Seminoles. On their next offensive play, FSU looks as if they came right back down the field as Outson completes a 29-yard pass to Ron Dugans. On the next play, however, disaster strikes Outson and the Knowles. They'll run a man in motion, Warwick, from left to right. And this is Outson looking for Warwick. Pass to Warwick downfield is intercepted. Tennessee at the 45, to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Tennessee. D. Wayne Goodrich he playing Warwick. Played it perfectly. Played it perfectly. He was laying out there waiting, set the trap. They tried to throw it across the field on the out. He just stepped in front of him. Beautiful. Dwayne Goodrich, fourth interception this year, returns it for the touchdown, 53 yards, and the Volunteers score 13 points in three plays. At this point, people are starting to wonder if the Vols will dominate this game, especially when Florida State's offense goes three and out on the ensuing possession. That would not be the case. Instead, it would be a Vol mistake that opened the door for the Seminoles to come back to life. No good. 8.59 to play in the first half. Tennessee's lead had been cut to 14-6. The Vols would pick up a quick first down, but then penalties of their own killed any shot of a drive. 
On fourth and 17, David Leverton boots a 44-yard punt that Reggie Durden brings back nine yards to the FSU 29. Another flag, another false start on UT, another punt. This time, Florida State sent star wideout Peter Warwick deep to field the kick. This will be Leverton, gets the punt away, hits it high and long. Warwick bait, uh, backing up to his 21-yard line. He can fly, gets to the right side, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. This will be Warwick to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. He is met and stopped as he moves to the 35, to the 30, inside by David Leverton, who made the punt. And Warwick returns that long punt of 47 yards all the way down inside Tennessee's 30-yard line. The kicking game. No one knew at that time how big Leverton's form tackle of Warwick truly was. Although you probably could have guessed 10 plays later. After 10 plays, Florida State had gained but 10 yards and had to settle for a 34-yard Janikowski field goal. Tennessee then ran out the half's final 77 seconds and led 14-9 at the intermission. It's not really clear who leaves the field with momentum. Florida State having scored the game's last nine points, or Tennessee, who held up well under a late seminal assault. The 1998 National Championship still very much up for grabs at halftime of the Fiesta Bowl game in Tempe. Tennessee led the game 14 to nine, but still Florida State very much in the game. Here's how things went in the third quarter. Again, Rich Bartholomew and the highlights by John Ward. One figures that we'll find out early in the third quarter. Instead, we get a period eerily similar to that of the third quarter at the SEC championship game. Florida State gets the second half's first possession and promptly does nothing. As a matter of fact, Cottrell's shanked punt puts the balls in business at their own 47. Anyway, it's first and 15. Tennessee still has a lot of people defending as this will be Martin stepping up, throwing downfield, and it is incomplete as he rushed the pass intending it for Jermaine Copeland. Second down, 15. Tennessee goes into the shotgun. Florida State, five men to rush. Here they come after Martin, who's got some time. Pass downfield is deflected and is incomplete. And it will be Tennessee now going with Martin up under the center. Travis Henry stays as the tailback. Florida State brings a lot of people up again at that defensive line as Martin hands the ball off there to Henry on a trap and Henry starts to the left side it's completely clogged he escapes the initial hit and spins back to the right but there's not much there for him gets back to the line and that's it as Tennessee will have it fourth down and 15 and here again comes David Leverton they're coming after him from the left side Leverton gets the punt away sort of a wobbly spiral Durden camps at the 18 looks for a block doesn't get one Bang! He is drilled and dropped by Derek Edmonds, the junior from Tampa, Florida. And so on the return, there is minus yardage registered. Tennessee, a lot of people dancing at the linebacking position as this is the reverse handed off to Florida State. The reverse is fumbled and picked up by uh, Coles, and Coles is able to skip to the left side. But there is a loss of a play of about five yards, and Florida State with that reverse, Tennessee reacts well. So it's got to be a second down and a loss on the play of uh, right at five yards. Closer to six. Minor is the tailback. Flankers left and right. Four-man front, Tennessee. Outson. Off play action. Looking to throw. Is going to run instead. Comes up the middle, and he is decked, and he took a smack as there was Al Wilson, Corey Terry, then from the right side over to make the stop on him after a gain of right at uh, six yards back to the original line of scrimmage, which was the 16. It will be third down and 10. Florida State trailing 14 to nine. And here they come in the I formation with Miner the tailback, Tennessee, four man front. This is Alton back to throw. Pass up field is going to be incomplete out of bounds. Cottrell will be punting, averaging 40, just under 42 yards per punt throughout the season. The last one was partially deflected. This one is away, not a great punt. Parker comes up to come under the ball and makes the catch and then is hit and fumbles it. There's a scramble for the loose ball as he uh, passed up a possible uh, fair catch. Tennessee first down at 10. Running back Travis Stevens 
Martin fakes to him, looks to throw across the middle. It is pulled down at the 50. This will be the tight end, John Finlayson, who moves down to the 45-yard line and on to the 44. At that point, it will be for Tennessee. First down and 10 to go. Tennessee lines it up as Florida State again brings virtually everybody. It's an eight-man front. Martin sizes it up. And this will be Martin handing the ball off to Stevens. Gets him locked at the near side, but then is just pounded down as he gets maybe half a yard on the play. Florida State again. Everybody up there anticipating the run. Martin sizes it up. Hands the ball up and slashing through the right side of the line. This is Travis Stevens running. T. Martin gets the snap. Juggles it. Looks to throw, will run instead, breaks one tackle, gets to the outside and dies forward for a gain of two yards, but far short of the first down. Already Warwick has an outstanding punt return. Leverton gets the punt away. Wobbly spiral. Warwick asks for a fair catch, then lets the ball drop, and it will be down by Tennessee at the nine-yard line. Leverton's punt pinned FSU at their own nine-yard line. Finally, the Seminoles push away from their own goal as Outson connects with Dugans for 29 yards. Outson's eight-yard run puts the ball in ball territory. As Outson fades to throw, steps up, sacked. Somebody comes ripping from the left side. It's Eric Westmoreland. An 11-yard reception by Sam McCorkle and seven-yard run by William McRae gives Florida State a first down at the UT 30-yard line. As they go in the I formation, and staying there as the tailback is Travis Miner. Outson, back to throw, sacked. He is blasted as Billy Ratliff comes charging through. He a junior from Magnolia, Mississippi, and that will be his second sack of the year, but he comes cleanly through. Keep in mind, Dwayne Goodrich out of the game for Tennessee in the defensive secondary. Outson, off play action, no, and Stentz hands the ball off and cutting through the right side, this will be Miner, and Miner gets some running room as he starts there at the 44, moves to the 40, but is somersaulted down with good reaction by Tennessee's Derek Edmonds and Chris Ramsour. Florida State will again go into the shotgun. They've got a lot of skilled people out there on third down. And this will be Outson. Tennessee coming after him. He's in trouble. Throws the ball downfield. It is complete. Pull down at the 40, down to the 45, down to the 50, down to the 45-yard line. Comes the fullback, McRae, who was a safety valve screening to the right side. Outson took a blast as he got rid of the ball. And into the game for Florida State will come Keith Cottrell to punt with 3.30 to go in the third quarter of the game. And Tennessee maintains its halftime advantage of 14-9. Here's the snap, no flag is down, high short punt. Parker asks for a fair catch, then moves away and Florida State will let the ball dance down inside the 10 and it will be downed at the Tennessee five yard line. The ball's back to the I formation and Florida State back with everybody up on the line inspecting the rush. They don't get it, instead it's Martin rolling to the left side, is going to throw across the middle. Oh, what a catch! at the 48-yard line by a leaping Jermaine Copeland who comes down at the 50-yard line on a sensational grab, twisting and turning in mid-air as he pirouettes back across to make the catch, comes pounding down. It's a first down. He really did. Best super catch coming across the field, but if that ball had been down where he hadn't had to go up for it, he'd still be running. There was a lot of room out there. As it is, Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go, beginning this drive back at the Volunteer 5-yard line. And Tennessee leads 14 to nine with 135 to go in the third quarter. The ball's into an I formation. Florida State brings everybody up. And this will be Travis Henry trying the middle. And this time he grinds, gets a little wedge as he rams it from the 49 down to the 46 yard line. Martin checks off at the line. And Florida State reacts by moving the linebackers a bit wider. Now this is Martin handing the ball off to Henry and Henry has nothing. Gets back to the line, and that's it. As Dean Humphrey, the linebacker, is there to make the stop on him. Well, here it is for Tennessee, third down and long. And Martin, off play action, rolls to the left side, looking to throw downfield. It is complete, then bobbled, and it will be ruled incomplete as Copeland had it for half a step, then was pounded from the backside by Edwards, and the ball popped free, and it will be, for Tennessee, incomplete. The fourth period begins with Leverton punting, and his boot is outstanding, dying at the Florida State one. 
The Tennessee defense limits the Knolls to just two yards on three plays, and the Vols get the ball back with a chance to go for the knockout. Eric Parker's 16-yard punt return sets it up. The Vols have first and 10 on the FSU 35. Tennessee sends Price wide to the right side. Also to the left comes Cedric Wilson into the I formation as Florida State has five down linemen. This will be Martin faking, looking, going deep down into the end zone, racing, racing, racing. It is, tell me about it, intercepted Florida State who took it away. And with the football, Florida State back up here to the 5, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, all the way to the 25-yard line will be Dexter Jackson, tackle made by Spencer Riley. For a moment, I thought Price had it, but he, he took it away. He took it away from him. They went up together, and he came down with it, pulled it away from him. As it is, Florida State wrestles the ball away, comes out with the interception and the first down at the 26-yard line. Up under the center, Outson. Tennessee with five down linemen to rush, leading 14-9. Outson, off play action, looks to throw. Across the middle, pass is going to be complete on a diving grab by Dugans at the 41-yard line. And... This will be the give going to Miner, and Miner has running room as he breaks one tackle to the 45, to the 50, down to the 45, down to the 40. He is shoved out of bounds at the 39-yard line of Tennessee as Travis Miner is finally rolled down by Will Overstreet. Here's left and right as this will be Outson again handing to Miner. Miner to the near side gets free of one man, and the score remains 14-9, but Florida State is threatening. Outson rolls to the near side, but instead gives it off to the fullback, and McCray, on a misdirection, pounds for a gain of a yard on the play. And so play will be resumed now as Florida State will have it second down. Wide to the left side goes Warwick. And here comes Dugans over to the short side right. Outson up under the center. Miner is the tailback. He's gained a lot of yards in this drive. And the handoff goes to Miner, and this time he's going to be slowed with little of any yardage. So now Florida State comes back with a slot set left. Warwick is the wide receiver. And up under the center is Alton on third down. Alton off play action, sacked. Tennessee came absolutely clean with Darwin Walker, who had five sacks on the year, and he popped and dropped him deep, Bill. Fourth down, and here will be Cottrell into punt with 10.50 to go in the football game, trying to back Tennessee up again. Cottrell gets the punt away. High, long spiral. It is going to be into the checkerboard end zone. Touchback. One wonders how long this can go on, how long it is going to be before someone lands a haymaker. Tennessee will do just that in the ensuing series. The Big Orange takes over at their own 20 after the Cottrell punt. This is Martin giving, Mart giving the ball off to Travis Stevens. He starts at the 20, and he nudges forward to the 21, where Humphrey is there to make the tackle. This is Martin going to run the draw. Nothing. As uh, Tennessee comes with a quarterback draw, and Corey Simon is there with Rackley, with the clock showing 9.45 to go in this game at the Fiesta Bowl in Tempe. This is John Wood and Bill Anderson sending the action as Tennessee will come up with Travis Stevens as the running back. Two flankers left, one right. Florida State, five down linemen. The, they're going to blitz this time. Here they come. Martin back, steps up, struggles. Going to throw the ball long, long downfield for Fearless Bright. It is complete. He makes the catch at the 45. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Just give it to him. No flags on the field. 79 yards. Touchdown, Tennessee! Boom! <laughs> Third down pa a pass, and Price goes one-on-one, -on -one, accelerates, and Martin, anticipating that, lays it out in front, and Peerless Price, who earlier had a 76-yard reception, now, moments ago, had an apparent touchdown, wrestled away for him, from him for an interception. This time, no such thing. Jeff Hall's extra point was blocked. And with 9.17 remaining, the ball lead was a solid 20 to 9. Now another amazing similarity to the SEC championship game. After a huge Martin DePrice touchdown hookup, the ball defense gets the ball back on the very next offensive play. So Tennessee will have the ball leading now by a score of 20 to 9 at the Florida State 28-yard line where the recovery is made. Travis Stevens stays at tailback. 
as this will be he trying the right side, gets to the corner, turns the corner to the 30, and is then shoelaced down on a reaching grab by Tay Cody, the ball's lead in the football game. This is Martin, handoff. This is Stevens breaking a tackle, cuts to the outside. He's at the 30, he's at the 25, he's at the 20. This is Stevens to the 15, this is Stevens to the 10. He is rattled out of bounds at the eight-yard line. Tennessee now will get two tight ends into the football game, Diagu and Finlayson, which indicates that the Tennessee team may be running. Finlayson has one touchdown pass. Martin sees that defense dance around, gives the ball off and the quick opener to Bryson. The, the only problem, it was quick, nothing open. Got maybe a yard down to the seven-yard line. Tennessee leads 20 to nine. The Vols have the ball just inside the eight-yard line. There goes Price wide to the right side, and Cedric Wilson comes left. Eye formation, the tight end is to the left with the ball of the right hash mark. Martin looks it over, gives the ball off to Stevens, and Stevens is upended as he somersaults forward for a gain of a yard on the play. Right now, the Volunteers will send Price wide to the right. Wilson comes to the left. Tennessee again thinking, not wanting another turnover. Stevens is there at tailback as Martin gives the ball off to Stevens through the left side, and he comes ripping down to about the seven-yard line. Well, this will be of 23 yards in length. Scott will hold. Gregory will snap. Down goes the ball. Up goes the kick. Did he make it? I'll let you know in a moment. The kick is good! And Tennessee leads by 14, 23 to 9. The celebrations begin all over Big Orange Country. In a defensive struggle such as this, a 14-point lead with 6.01 to play seems totally safe. But against FSU, no lead is ever safe. Lavernius Coles returns the ensuing kickoff for just eight yards. But Tennessee is assessed a personal foul, giving FSU the football at the UT 49. Two outs and runs net just three yards, leaving Bobby Bowden's charges to face third and seven at the Tennessee 46. Florida State in the shotgun. Tennessee coming after Alton, who rolls out of the pocket this time, looking to throw. Will look, will wait, will throw the ball upfield, and it is in complete. Penalty marker down as Alton was blasted after he released the pass, or as he was releasing the pass. And let's see what the call is going to be. Another penalty. Roughing the passer. Roughing the, the passer is the call against Tennessee. As against the offense, receiver was downfield blocking. Those penalties are offset. Replay the down. So it will be third down and still seven yards to go. Marcus Outson sees the clock now at 4.08, brings his team to the line on third down and long. Staying in the shotgun. Tennessee, four down lineman to rush, ball on the left hash mark. And this will be Outson again, same play, moving to the near side, looking to throw across the middle. It is complete, pulled down by Duggins, who makes the catch at the 25. He has the ball at the 20. He's down to the 15, down to the 10. He is tackled as he gets to the Tennessee six-yard line. They line up with Outson up under the center this time. Outson back to throw, pass down into the end zone is incomplete. Up under the center, this will be Outson. Miner and Glenn, the running backs. Clock at 348 with the incomplete pass. Back to throw Alton. He'll step up and run. He carries the ball down into the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. Alton out of the shotgun as he's done time after time in this football game. Just moves it forward to score. And so Florida State closes the gap down to 23 to 15 with 342 to go. And Florida State will go for the extra point with Jacat. Uh, Janikowski in there to attempt it out of the hold of Alton. And Alton, the running quarterback, made it pay off that time as Tennessee was protecting against the pass. Here's the extra point by Janikowski, and the extra point is up, and it is good. And so with 3.42 to go, Tennessee's lead is now 23 to 16. 3.42 to go, all timeouts remaining on both sides of the ledger with Tennessee leading 23 to 16. The scoring has gone 7 nothing Tennessee, 14 nothing, 14-6, 14-9, and then it was 23 to 9, now it's 23 to 16. And Janikowski is prepared as Florida State lines up in a conventional situation. Now they send more people to the wide side of the field, and that's where Janikowski is pointing it. 
and he's going to kick the onside kick, which is coming up field, and it has been recovered by Florida State at the 46-yard line as Janikowski kicks and Janikowski recovers. So Florida State executes the onside kick perfectly, and now the officials are in to discuss what the situation is. Florida State says it's our ball. The officials still talking about it, and let's see what the final rule will be. It might have been touched by Florida State prior to moving past the 45-yard line. And so the officials discuss the situation with Tennessee leading 23 to 16 and 341 remaining in the football game. The official, I think, will advise us what the ruling will be. The kicking team touched the ball before it went 10 yards. I guess line. right. The balls need a first down. Florida State says no way. Tennessee sends in motion. Bryson, who's playing as a flanker, the handoff is fake. Throws the pass, pull down by Bryson at the 40. Bryson at the 35, horse colored down as Tennessee runs a brilliant play, in my opinion. My opinion doesn't mean much, but you can see Bryson, who came as a flanker to the left side, running in motion back to the right. The fake give was to Henry, and it ends up as a gain on the play of eight yards. Now Bryson back in there in his normal position in the eye formation. Long count Martin. This will be Henry right side, crunching forward. I'm not sure. I think he's short of the first down as Jerry Johnson makes the tackle on him. As T. Martin at 6'3", 215, is the quarterback of under the center. They bring people up tight. Tennessee with a power eye set to the right side. Quarterback is Martin. This is Martin. Handoff, right side. Tackle made, didn't make the first down. As Corey Simon is there to tackle Travis Henry as they just overpowered Tennessee. And for Tennessee, leading in the game by a score of 23 to 16. A decision has to be made here. And the Volunteers a little too far out to try for a field goal. And Tennessee is apparently on this situation with 2-0-2 and counting. Down inside two minutes, the Volunteers lead by a score of 23-16. Tennessee is going to try for the first down. Cedric Wilson to the left. Travis Henry is the tailback against a six-man Florida State front. T. Martin for Tennessee. Rolling to the near side, looks to throw, complete. 30, 25, 20, 15, 14, 13, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Sean Bryson would not be denied. They're going to say that actually he was tackled back at the 11-yard line. That ain't all bad, actually, because it will be a first down. Woo. And Tennessee, on a sensational effort, a brilliant call, actually, yeah. by Randy Sanders. I'm sure that Coach Philip Fulmer was involved. So Tennessee now leads by a score of 23 to 16. The clock shows 135. He was out of bounds, stopping the clock. So this is Martin up under the center, hands the ball off and pounding forward. There's a fumble, scramble for the ball at the nine-yard line. As Florida State says, it has the football, and it does. That was Henry carrying, and they stripped him with Allen ending up with the ball at the Florida State nine-yard line. How quickly things can change. Clock shows 1.29 to go in the game. Tennessee leads by seven points. This will be Outson getting the snap out of the shotgun. Outson steps back, looks, pumps, throwing the ball deep downfield for Coles. It is going to be, I think, intercepted. It is intercepted by Tennessee. With the ball, this is Steve Johnson, who makes the interception at the 40. Back to the 45, back to the 50, down to the 45-yard line. Tennessee will have the ball first down and 10 to go at the Florida State 45-yard line for the Volunteers' interception number two in this football game. This one by Steve Johnson, the senior, who gives Tennessee possession first down and 10 to go at the Florida State 45-yard line. Bartholomew Bryson, both in there as running backs for Tennessee, as Martin is going to roll out to the right side, may pull it down and run himself, and he does, and slides down before he goes out of bounds across the way. Tennessee will have the ball now. The power is to the left side, the wide side. Here comes T. Martin rolling out this way. He is knocked down, holds on to the football. That's item number one. Florida State uses another timeout, and Tennessee leads 23-16. to 16. Up under the center, Martin, that wing back set to the wide side right. 
Martin hands the ball inside. Travis Stevens to the outside, 45-40, down to the 36-yard line. Penalty marker then flies on the near sideline as Stevens circles the left side, gets right at nine yards on the play. There is a penalty marker on the play, however, right in front of the Florida State bench down below. Be it against Florida State, then Tennessee would have a first down. We'll let the official who has Both been a factor. Both for a personal foul, face mask, by the defense, automatic first down. Well, he does a better job than I, by far. First down, Big Orange. Tennessee now 53 ticks to go, and the Volunteers for the national championship leading Florida State by a score of 23 to 16. It is a 15-yard penalty against Florida State. So the Volunteers had the ball at the 21-yard line of the Seminoles. At that point, Tennessee, with 53 seconds to go, will have it first out, Bill Anderson, and 10 to go. 32 seconds, and the clock is counting. Will he go to a knee? Yes. And then he is touched, but no infraction. This football game is nearing its conclusion. This season is nearing its conclusion. Oh! Coach Philip Fulmer has been doused with Totitas chips, perhaps. Who cares? Here come Tennessee fans from everywhere. Here comes media from everywhere. You can count it down with us. Five, four, three, two, one. The national champion is clad in big orange. Tennessee 23, Florida State 16. What a year. The 1998 season will be one that Tennessee fans will cherish forever. Perfect seasons. National championships are hard to come by. And that 1998 team was a very special one in the hearts of Tennessee fans everywhere. For Vintage Orange, Tennessee Football Classics, I'm Bob Kessling of the Ball Network. Tennessee Football Classics, Vintage Orange.